Join us this week as we head down the Five Mile Beach in the Northern Territory to camp near the Finnis River. We get onto some muddies with friends Rachel and Grant and we have some more luck catching some more barramundi. Alrighty, we've just hit the four wheel drive track to Stingray Head or Stingray Point uh, which is near Dundee. So we're going to head out here and hopefully find a spot to camp along the beach. Um, there's meant to be a river mouth here and we're hoping we get onto some muddies. Tony stopped this morning, he was rather excited. Purchased a couple of new um, mud crab pots. Yeah, now that we're back in the main tea. Yeah. State where you're allowed to do everything. <laughs> Side of the track where there's quite a few caravanas. Caravanas, eh? Mm -hmm. There's a bit of a drop off there. Still didn't let his tyres down. It's anything less than 30. <laughs> I'm jumping in. Yeah. It's off here, eh? Probably should have let my tyres down a bit more. <laughs> Stacey just give me a tune up. Should have let your tyres down. Like, nah. It's been half my life. Pumping up tyres, letting tyres down. Well, it's a bit soft down here, too. up at five mile we've had a great quiet night's sleep at an epic beachfront spot and now we're just uh, doing some casting of the cast net to get some um, bait for the mud crab pots something rising over here in quite close Just over here. There's another one just rising there. Little fellas. Yeah, good bear of bait, eh? Oh yes, perfect. Perfect size little fella there. We've got lots of the little uh, puffer fish which we're throwing back. Just 
give them a jiggle and they might fall out of the net too, eh? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh. All right, we better go, but we love and miss you heaps. Bye, Nana. Right, up. See you next time. Love you. Bye. Bye. See ya. Love you too. Bye. Right, so we've had our fix of friends and family and now we're off to get firewood and apparently Liam is driving. Yep. Am I sitting in the back this time? Yeah, I'll sit in here. In the back, yo. Yo. She, she doesn't trust <laughs> yeah, doesn't. Gee, do I need to wear a seatbelt, Liam? No. Well, Liam's behind the wheel. Oh, hundreds of. Uh, so you might need to put your seatbelts on. I'm the passenger. Can, uh, put, I put the hammer on. I feel. Into hey, we don't have summer yet. No, nah, she's staying here. Oh, yeah. Okay. She, she doesn't trust the wheel. Drive, drive right back. Yep. And then left hand down. So, practice. Mom, I've still got yep. my seatbelt on. A little bit of, little bit of herbs. A little bit of acceleration. Only a little bit. Yep. Ooh, how exciting, Liam. Mm -hmm. See you later! Yep. Keep going, Liam. Ah! Just gentle on the, on the herbs, yep. And just follow this track up here. Uh -huh. A little bit more left. Take your time. Don't take your time, brush it. We're just in low ratio, so you can't go too fast. And if anything goes wrong, what do you do? You put your hand on the brake. Put your foot on the brake. Uh -huh. And then what do we do? And then you put the handbrake on? Put oh it no, into you park. put it in park. Put it in park, yep. Yep. Follow the track, mate. Just did some driving lessons with the young fella. I think I was about your age when Uncle Max started teaching me to, to drive the tractor. Yeah. Well, and I hope I'm a better teacher than he was because, man, he was a rough teacher. <laughs> he yelled and screamed at me. They had to roll start the tractor, didn't have a handbrake. So good times. <laughs> okay, let's cut some firewood, check all our safety gear, Liam. Safety footwear there, I see, Tony. Ooh, chain's a bit loose, too. Always get chaps, good non-cutting tents, safety gear, protective helmet and good footwear. Teaching, teaching Liam when he does knots, try and do knots that are easy to release under tension. So, try not to do the ones I'm doing. Nah, it's pretty easy then. Just go over, and if you go around, and then go back a couple of times, then all the tension's on that. And then when you do, a, if you do a half hitch. There's not as much weight on that half hitch and make your last half hitch a bow. So then you just pull, pull that out. out. Mm. Okay, Liam, jump in, drive away. <laughs> it's just about sunset out behind me. Really beautiful. That was big, wasn't it? Huge. 
Me and Manuela just uh, coming out for a fish for the day. Yes, sir. We've just seen a massive salty just slid off the bank about five meters in front of us. Just off behind us. He's just up there. Just snuck up this little creek just to see if we could find somewhere to stick some crab pots. Uh, there's a commercial, obviously, commercial potter work in the main river so there's pots bloody everywhere and I was hoping he wasn't going to come up here but he's snuck halfway up here and now that bloody big croc man that was that was four or five meters that fella we'll give him a bit of space Liam and I just doing a bit of trolling up the river Yeah. We've seen a few crocs um, feeding on the side of rivers on the last trip, eh? Let him be, let him enjoy his lunch. We just found a big hole in Dad. And Dad thought he saw two crabs, so we're now just going, well, he's going to see inside this big hole. Let's have a look. Grab this one. Just waiting for that, that clank of the, of the middle touching the crab. It's pretty deep, it's up to his knees. Just pulled in a pot and we caught a mud crab. We get to measure him, but we know it's that it's cool. about it's about one thirty millimeters for its illegal, so let's hope that it's a bit more than one thirty. Right guys, looking like a bit of a numpty with my head torch on. Um, but I've just got the bread out of the camp oven and look at it, Rach. Looks amazing. I think we did good with the timing. Looks really good. And on the bottom. Yeah, it looks good. Bottom is oh, nice. Not burnt. And brown too. So we're gonna chop that up and I'm gonna try and do a how-to video if you want this particular recipe of bread. So keep in tune for that. It'll be coming up. Morning guys, just 
on the out on the Finnis River today uh, with the mate Grant from Darwin. Uh, his wife Rachel coming up to camp with us for a couple of days um, out here. It's a, another beautiful morning on the river. We're just going to uh, have a fish around the snag and work our way uh, up the up the river and see how we get on. Up the river this morning fishing with Grant and he's just caught the first uh, bearer of the day. Just a little fella. You got some boss? Yes. Little fella. Beautiful little bearer. What's he gonna measure? Is he gonna go 50? Nah, 45. And he's gone. Just up this little creek off the main river. It's just beautiful and quiet up here. Grant's on about his number, number five or number six fish for the morning. Got to be a big crock up here, eh? Just got that, got that feel about it. Come up the river guys and um, just gonna check our crab pots now. We caught a few bear this morning but nothing quite legal. Grant's just bring a pot in there. Oh he's got a goodie in there, Grant. Grant, that's a good money. He's a buddy. He's a solid grant. Yeah. Pull it out. Pull it out. First first muddy for the morning. Good size muddy too, Grant. Nice muddy. Yeah. Very nice. Give him a measure once we tied him up, um, but he's certainly legal. What have we got to be here in NT, Grant? I think it's 13, isn't it? Yeah. 130, 130 mil for uh, males and 140 for females. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just tying him up, put the string around him to um, but, uh, see what that's sunny. Um, tie him up to keep his claws intact, and then we'll put him on ice, and that'll make him a bit dozier. What pince is that fella? He let go one of his swimmers so uh, it's a uh, little bit hard. Is my string a bit short, right? Um, yeah. yeah. I'm not used to catching big buddies. No. <laughs> Need long string. <laughs> Need that buddy. Think big. <laughs> Good to wear bare feet for this too, I find. <laughs> Just so that if he does get loose, you only lose a toe, not a, a finger. Yeah, it's nothing like the excitement of a loose crab. Mm, nice. Mm. That's a nice muddy. Nice muddy. Yep, let's hope he's full. And just flick him upside down so we can see if he's a... So we tell by this here, if it's a small, tight triangle, then it's a male, if it's a like big wide um, U shape more than a V shape, then it's a female. Is that how you tell? Yeah. And, yeah. and, and it's got some um, hooks on its claws too, eh? Yeah. Bloody good. Bloody good. How are you? Hi. Anything? Oh, what's happened? No, nothing. Bear, eh? Hiya. Bear, nothing nothing legal. Legal. But we didn't land it. Got half a dozen. Yeah. Go up, one big muddy. Yeah. One keeper for mud, one mud crab keeper? Yeah, he's in the back here, eh? 
Do you remember your tying? Not He's just about out actually. Hold him up. Let's come back out on the uh, on the river to check the pots. We've got Grant and Liam with us, the Savo. Check two pots. Just had one little crab in this one, and we've got two two reasonable crabs in this one. It's right, eh? Mud crab for tea, Liam? Maybe. <laughs> we'll measure them up, see how they go, eh? <laughs> Dad just hooked a uh, bear and undie, I'm for sure. Hey, Dad, well, what do you think it is? I'd say it's a bear, just a little bear. Oh. Don't think he's going to be legal, but he's, he's going to be close. It's giving me a good workout anyway. Wait for it. Here he comes, See that colour? See that colour? He's a nice fish, mate. He could be 55, then. Oh, he didn't like the boat. Bring him up here, buddy. I don't want to put it overly well, so I don't want to put too much pressure on it. Okay. Oh, he's Ooh, going to be close, mate. Right? Close, Liam. Yeah, close, close to the magic 55. Head first, mate. Head first. Head first. Head first. Head first, Liam, not tail first, mate. Go for the head, mate. Go for the head. It's all just wait. That's great. Man. Nice fish. No, no, just gentle, Liam. Gentle, gentle. Nice and, nice and slow, mate. Nice and slow. Trying not to get the line. Yeah, that's it. Good yeah. work. Well done, Liam. Woohoo! Good one, guys. Oof. It's coming alive. All right, Liam, over you, buddy. Beautiful you evening here. Yeah. The sun's just gone down. Yeah. Mozzies are just coming out. Get yourself a fish, Liam. Yeah. yeah, never help, Liam. Just get straight back into it. Mm. We've got a nice little um, creek draining out here. You can see the colour color change. These fish are just... Feeding on, are they shrimps or prawns, Grant? Uh, little bit of prawns, I think. Little prawns. Prawns, jelly prawns. Jelly prawns. Feeding on little jelly prawns. You'll see them jumping around the edges here. Mm -hmm. And uh, and there's a heap of mullet. Heap of mullet around. Getting a few fish starting to buff. Uh, which just means, oh, there's one just over here. Uh, just means they come up. And because they've got such big mouths, these bear, they, um, when they hit the surface, they make a buffing sound. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Yep. Where are you? What'd you get? Oh, we bloody smashed yeah. it tonight. Did you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got heaps of mud crabs. Gonna grab some torches, boys. Got heaps of mud crabs. Got heaps of bear. Are you for real? Yeah. I'm not sure if you're kidding or not. <laughs> Come on, Granta, come and show us. Oh my goodness, you have got Barra. You got three, <gasps> three, three, three nice fish. Yeah. Um, what yeah. beauty! And a third fella there. A seven in there. Yeah. Well done, Grant. As always, you perform in the fishing. <laughs> <laughs> you jinx me now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and yeah. Look at this. This is like going to a tackle shop. We picked up about five lures. What? Five he scored. Lures, That's a vibe, it. isn't it? Yeah, vibes. vibes. Yeah, all vibes. Yeah. Score and yeah, crab. Yeah, heaps of crabs. Heaps of crabs. Yeah, a couple yeah. not 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 huge not crabs. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Good claw nice on that one. fella. That's um, a nice claw. Yeah. We'll double check the size of that one. Eh? 
Yeah, I know. It's some, some, some really good time now. That's why I'm a little bit weary on what I'm grabbing here. Look at this. Take him for a walk. He's got a leash. <laughs> I'm more worried about what he's doing with that leash. And here we go. What do you reckon it does? I don't know. 130. He's five. He's 13 and a half. He's, he's bigger than the one you've got, Grant. Is he? Is that a female? No. no. Oh, man. He's 14. Oh, right. I love that um, we're being really particular because we've got two ex officers and one <laughs> research <laughs> like, hunter. Yeah, I was like, we're going to make sure that we like got it real proper. Okay. Is that it? Yeah, oh, the other colour is massive. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that one's a... He's a big boy. He's huge. Is it a girl? No, oh, he's a monster. We don't need to measure him. Oh, that one's Well, that's it. We are packed up. Goodbye to Five Mile. We're definitely coming back here. Epic, epic beachfront camp. Definitely put it on your list. Well, the access is a bit of a challenge. Um, if you've only got a little boat, sorry, I'm just going through a bit of a rough patch here. Uh, if you've only got a little tinny, um, we've got a 12 footer. Uh, it's pretty tight, it's pretty tight getting down to the water and then if you're there at low tide it's a pretty big drop off into the water. We winched the boat out but we we uh, launched at higher tides um, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, there's plenty of crocs um, which you'd expect and uh, just yeah just I, for us this trip the lower river was as good as the upper river so um, just fish the snags um, the running up the last of the running up was best um, just the little stream mouths little creeks little drains so yeah. what were you catching them on uh, we didn't have any luck with liveies um, uh, we did better probably 50 50 lures and vibes yeah. that's it access along the beach uh, there isn't much access along the beach. You'd be pretty keen to launch just because the amount, the distance the tide goes out is a long way. I mean, if um, you're coming down to launch, oh, yeah. you, do you need a light, low tide? Or? Yeah, you'd be, if, the, if they're big tides, um, you'd want to you'd wanna drive the beach at low tide or near low tide. But if they're not big tides, like we're only six metres, six and a half metres at the moment, but it's easier to drive. Uh, the beach every tide yeah yeah and um sand's pretty soft at the start um but other than that sand's pretty firm so yeah we were we went in at 30 psi and then i just had to drop down at the end to 20 because uh, it got a bit soft um, it was only for like that 100 meters yeah it's only the first 100 meters once you get off the track away from uh, stingray point camp area yeah, some good camps down there. Uh, don't camp too close to the river because the midges, the mozzies are pretty friendly. We hope you enjoyed watching, guys. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and chime in for our future episodes. Coming up, we've got Berry Springs, Kakadu, Arnhem Land and even Bali. Those are all in the next few episodes to come. We'll see you there.